Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPK. Today we will learn the step-by-step -step process of setting up a Windows shared multi-user setting in Microsoft in June. We will learn a step-by-step -step process of configuring multi-user shared mode in Microsoft in June. Besides the devices we configure in Microsoft in June, we also have other option to set up Windows devices or we have many other forms to configure Windows devices in Microsoft Intune. Shared multi-user device is a type of Windows device that doesn't have primary user but the device is shared across multiple users. The shared multi-user device could be used in schools where devices are shared between the teachers or the students or it can be used in hospitals like the nurses have a single shared device to work on or also that device could set up in factories or any other organization according to their requirement with this setting an administrator could set up or turn on a shared PC feature from Microsoft in June that will allow only single account to use that Windows computer at a time. Once the device is set up as a shared multi-user device mode, no one can switch between other profiles. When the user will be signed out, we will choose the setting that will remove all users related settings on that Windows computer. End users can sign in to these devices with a guest account. After user sign in, the credentials are cached. We can use a shared multi-user configuration profile to configure the device. And here we will be able to set up some limitations according to our requirements. There will be some limitations by default and some of the limitations we can set. We can control if the device can go to sleep mode or user can save files or not locally at the computer or we can limit user to change the power setting or we can restrict from changing the powers. We can also set up that uh, if a guest account sign off that gets deleted or if the accounts reach their threshold that will delete all of the accounts. So we will create configuration profile for this setting. Please log in into Intune by going to intune.microsoft.com and you must be global administrator or Intune service administrator to perform all these steps. Then go to devices. Once you are in the devices section, then go to configuration profile. Let's find it uh, here, configuration. These settings will be device based and we will configure and set up this setting for the devices or a group of devices. I have created uh, the group in Microsoft in June. Go to create and select new policy here. In the platform, please select Windows 10 and later. We can also assign this profile to mix device type or different version of operating systems so in the profile type let's go to uh, templates and here and shared multi-user device and hit create now let's enter the description descriptive name share multi-user device type uh, I am pasting the same information in the description and hit next. Okay, now uh, let's go through all these options one by one. In the shared PC mode, if we enable shared PC mode, then only one user will be able to log in to the device at a time. And if second user needs to log in, then first user needs to be log off from the computer so that's fine i am enabling this because i need only one user from a shared computer the next option is guest account if you select from here guest this will 
give us the option of creating a guest account on the login screen. Guest account don't require any user authentication or credentials. And if we select this setting will create a local guest account each time we log in. And the second option here we have is the domain account. The account of our this company. We can create a shared account for our domain and that will log in to specific computer or specific group of computers. So here we have three options guest, domain, guest and domain. So my required option here is domain because I will myself create a shared account and we will be giving that shared account to users of that corporate office. So we have selected the domain option here and we will allow only our Azure Active Directory account to sign in. So we will create that shared account for the users. The next option is account management. This could be uh, the option we could use that account could be deleted automatically. It's storage space threshold or start delete threshold percentage here. And these all setting is like we have to define here storage threshold for the account if you want to delete those accounts automatically. So we don't want to use this setting right account management not configured because we will have only one domain account and no one else will be able to log in or use their specific shared computer okay the next option is local storage so if you want to allow user to save and write files on the hard drive we can enable this if you don't want the shared user to save and write files on hard disk we could disable it so we don't want here right we want to limit that user to not to store files on the hard drive so i want to disable it and to be enabled and you want some relaxation for your shared user you can enable this but i don't want here the next option is power policy so the power policy is that if we enable this right user will be able to change power setting related to hibernate our rights all power set transitions such as ideal such as late clothes and to sleep so if you want your user that they can change any of the power setting you could enable this here i want to restrict from changing these setting i will be going to select disable here for power policy here and in the sleep time when you want that computer that will go to sleep when that computer will be inactive for a certain amount of time so in the sleep time we can enter second from zero to eighteen thousand and if we enter here zero the device will never sleep right or if we leave it empty the device will get sleep after 3600 seconds that means device will get sleep after 60 minutes okay so here uh, what i want to set let's set it uh, 200 seconds right the pc will get sleep after 200 seconds sign in when pc wakes so if you enable this option and the pc come back after the sleep time or someone want to use their pc with a shared account and want to sign in they have to provide the sign in password they have to give username and passwords again once the computer goes sleep and will log in back the next option we have that is the maintenance start time like windows update when that could be happen and can enter that time in minutes from midnight the default start time will be midnight or zero minutes for example if you want to begin that maintenance from uh, 1 a.m at night enter 
60 here and if you want it can add 2 a.m. at midnight you can enter 120 here so let's say we have entered 120 here these are the minutes and last option we can choose education policies option if policies for education environment are enabled so in our case we are not using education policies here so we are going to skip that and you can set up all these options and requirements according to your organization policies the option i have set up here and explain you so let's go to next in next option i have created a group and i will be going to add that group here right so the devices of their specific group or the devices which are the member of their specific group they will be going to get this configuration profile policy i've created a group test shared clients right and i will add those windows devices in this group that needs to be shared across the organization i'm going to select this i have one device and zero users into this group and you can exclude the group as well here we have the exclude option i don't want to exclude any group i have added only the required group here and next on applicability rule we can define how to apply this profile within an assigned group Intune will only apply this profile to devices that meet combined criteria of these applicability rules. For example, here we can set applicability rule that assign this configuration profile to the devices or the specific group of devices that have enterprise edition of Windows. So for now, I have only one device in my uh, device group right i don't want to assign uh, applicability rules here and i don't want to be more strict here if you need you can assign applicability rules so i'm going to next and in the last option we have the summary of what we have configured in this configuration profile so you can review all this setting and hit create here so i have successfully created shared multi-user device type let me refresh the configuration profile and i got it here so a policy is created successfully and the next time when the device check in with in tune this policy will get applied to the device and their device must be a member of test shared client group as we have defined few restrictions that user will not be able to create or view the folder and user will not be able to change the power and sleep setting so once your device will sync with microsoft intune and it's restarted all these settings we have defined in configuration profile will get propagated across your devices and you will get the complete report in the view summary report here and you will be also you will be able to export these settings or configuration details from here please note that once you will apply this setting to a users and you will restart their specific device and then the login options will be going to change you will be able to log in with that shared user only so that's it about today's video always be careful of about deploying these configuration profile to your users or computers it will be always better to configure these policies and apply to only a single user or device for your testing purpose once you are verified with the configuration profile then you could move the users and devices to that specific group so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial of setting up shared multi-user device type
with Intune configuration profile. Keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye.